Good morning, everybody. It's Mallory Smythe on behalf of Endow. I remember where I was whenever Pope John Paul II died. It was 2005, I was in high school, and I was on vacation in Destin, Florida with my friends. And I remember watching it on TV, but I had no idea the kind of life this man had lived. And as I've grown into my Catholicism, I've learned that Pope John Paul II is one of the great men to ever have lived. He lost his entire family when he was young, and yet he became a true leader in the underground Polish culture during World War II. He helped write plays, he helped write poetry to help keep Polish culture alive during World War II. Whenever he became Pope, he actually went back to Poland and helped communism to be defeated in Poland. This was a man who saw more people than any other Pope had before him in person. He traveled the entire world bringing the message of who Jesus is. He was shot <laughs> and he forgave the man who shot him. He was remarkable. And yet through his entire priesthood, he kept a picture of a man named Jan Tiranowski in every room that he stayed in. And he credited Jan Tiranowski with his priesthood. He said he is the reason that he found his vocation. And so this week is the feast day of St. Pope John Paul II, and in his honor, I want to tell you about the man who helped him find his vocation, Jan Tiranowski. So Jan Tiranowski was a Polish man, and he was very shy. He did not like being around people. He looked a little bit awkward. He was an accountant for a little while, but that was, that was around too many people, and so he ended up actually becoming a tailor who could work out of his home. And so this man who had somewhat of a social anxiety would go to mass every Sunday. And as he's sitting in the pews one day, the priest said, it is not hard to be a saint. And it was those words that grabbed the soul of Jan Taranowski and he said, if it's not hard to be a saint, then I wanna be one. And so he said, okay, well, what can I do? He decided to start a rosary group of men at the local university. And so against his nature, he went to the university and started meeting men and inviting them into this prayer group. And they started to pray the rosary together. They started to grow in discipleship together. And they started to just grow in friendship. They would go on hikes. They would do fun things together. And out of that group, many of the men became priests. And one of those men was the young Carol Watiwa. And he became St. Pope John Paul II. See, Saints come in many different shapes and sizes. God plays to our nature. We can be the super evangelist like St. Pope John Paul II with this great grand call, or we can just say yes in our everyday small lives the way Jan Tiranowski did. And he had no idea how God would use him to impact the world like crazy. And so in honor of St. Pope John Paul II and Jan Tiranowski, I would just ask you, how can you be a saint today in your everyday life? What yes can you give God? How can you step out of your comfort zone, learn to trust him, and understand his church better? How can you bring that to other people in your lives in the smallest way? You never know how God will use that to impact the world dramatically. So if you want to know more about who God is and how he wants to work in your life, you can learn more at www.endowgroups.org. You can connect with us on at Endow Groups on Instagram or Facebook, and you can connect with me at Mallory A. Smythe. Have a great week and happy feast of St. Pope John Paul II.